What's going on everybody? It's Tron Ninja here, coming at you with a video that is going to finally explain the laser cannon nerf and why I physically do not actually agree with this nerf and much much more that I'll go on to later on in the video. Quickly before the video begins, if you give me a like, subscribe, hit the bell and all that other stuff, that would be much appreciated. But anyways, let's get into this nerf because this video is pretty long already. Now we're going to be going over the stats of the new cannon and the old cannon so that you can get a feel of how much they actually nerfed these cannons before we get into the testing. As you can see, the range on both of these cannons have not changed at 180 meters, but the blast radius has changed significantly. The blast radius on the old cannon used to be extremely large. It was like basically almost like three times the size of a RPG explosion basically. And the blast radius of the new cannon is fairly small. It's basically just like the B11 when that cannon hits a player. It's very small. And the shots to kill for or the cannons on a player on the ground. Obviously, the new cannon is two to three shots because it was obviously nerfed. And the old cannon was obviously one because, well, it was extremely overpowered and it did like almost like RPG level damage along with a three times larger blast radius so it was very very big however the fire rate was changed significantly from the old cannon to the new the old cannon used to have 15 RPM per gun which means it had almost like 3000 RPM with both guns shooting simultaneously and with both guns shooting at the same time, it had a damage per second value of 25,000. So, yeah, it was a lot. Especially with that large blast radius, there was basically no way of escaping. And the fire rate with the new cannon is significantly slower. It's basically like the Rogue, the Raiju, or the B11, basically and it alternates between guns now it's not shooting both guns at the same time and the armor is pretty much unchanged on both it's one railgun shot two, two to three explosive sniper shots one rpg and two homings and that's pretty much it yeah they didn't change any armor values unfortunately even though they nerfed the cannon so now it's even weaker than it was before so but anyways, now we're going to get into the actual testing and show you how effective this thing is, if you can really even call this thing effective at all. Here in this first clip, I'm going to be showing off the fire rate so that you have an idea of what it looks like in the gameplay. This is the new cannon. I'm going to let the gameplay pretty much say it for itself. Yeah, it's that slow it's really that slow as you can see it's not as deadly as it once was before but it is just abysmally slow now to the point that it's gonna require a lot more aim which is what this nerf was designed for but there are many other problems with this for example the render distance being able to see players in first person and all the other stuff and this is what it looks like up close still not very deadly at all and remember it still takes two sh to three shots to kill a player and you have to be accurate with this cannon now it's no longer spraying and here's against the moc surprisingly unlike the old cannon this one actually killed the moc pretty quickly but that's because of a differing factor that i'll get into later here's the blast radius against a player when green's against the wall as you can see, it requires me to get a lot fucking closer and actually aim at him. So, you actually have to aim with this gun now. It's no longer just spray and pray, but there is its own problem with it, which I'll get onto later in the video with this whole being able to aim at players in first person thing, and even being able to fucking see them. As you can also see, it takes two shots, and generally speaking, it requires a lot more accuracy than the old cannons, for sure. Now we're going to be going into the first aerial test against a ground target, as Green will be fighting me on the ground only using snipers. 
as I want you to keep that in mind, or normal weapons that just shoot bullets. I want you to keep this in mind, okay? Because this is going to prove just how abysmally this cannon can't aim at anything without thermal. As you can see, he is basically just damaging my jet slowly over time, and I can barely see where he is. Literally, look at this. Couldn't see him until last minute, and then I hit the ground. That is how poor the render distance is, and why this cannon is not uh, very viable. And technically speaking, this is also why the nerf is not good for this jet. It should have a higher fire rate, in my opinion. Uh, the, f the fact that I can't even aim at him until it's too late and then I have to pull up because of its slow fire rate and the fact that it is ten times more inaccurate than it ever was makes it abysmally difficult to even hit this thing. And look at this, I'm even like doing strafe runs where I'm not even accurately shooting at him because I literally can't see him until last minute. And he's damaging my jet so much to the point that if he shoots me anymore it's gonna start smoking at that point and I might as well just go get a new one. So as you can very clearly see if a pilot does not have thermal this cannon really is not anything to be worrying about in fact it's this thing's just a paper airplane that shoots a gun now that's how abysmal the armor is and the fact that this thing can't even fucking aim at a player before like two seconds too late basically makes it useless and yeah I got a kill here but I had to do at least three to four strafes to be able to achieve that one minuscule kill and my jet was smoking at that point so I might as well have got a new one. Here in this test I'm going to start fighting green with the RPG. As you can clearly see the RPG has a very high chance with this new cannon now to basically hit jets now because it's not a death beam anymore. It's not where you can just spray it because of its large blast radius and high fire rate. So now RPGing jets has never been easier and it actually makes me not want to strafe towards him on an even field like on these low altitudes. But because it's not viable at these low altitudes with its low cannon and shitty cannon it's not very viable at all because even when you dive bomb with this cannon you still can't see them until it's too late in fact dive bombing with this cannon against an RPG is even worse because you're giving yourself even less time to pull up so not only is the cannon's fire rate extremely neutered and toned down and its blast radius is basically non-existent at this point you can't even dive bomb with this thing with the cannon anymore meaning you have to use the fucking crappy missiles. Yeah, you heard that right. In order to dive bomb with a laser, you have to use the crappy missiles. Need I say more? And in this second RPG test, it really didn't fare that much better because he's using snipers and RPGs, so when I'm at a distance, he's just damaging my jet, and then when I go in for the strafe, he actually RPGs me. And to be honest with you, this this alone, not even including the railgun test, which will happen in a few minutes here, just including the RPG and the sniper, with no thermal as the pilot, th this can is not a threat. It it's so garbage now. It's fucking abysmal. And now, finally, we're going to be moving on to the actual air-to-ground tests, while Green is going to be using the railgun. Surprisingly, I was actually able to get a lot more kills with the railgun than when he was using the RPG, but that's because of the fact that if he misses, he gives me shitloads of time while he's reloading the gun to be able to kill him with the cannons. And, generally speaking, a jet flying towards you while using a railgun is a lot harder to hit than a one that's flying away from you. So for that reason, that's why he was having so much trouble hitting me when I was going into the strafe. But generally, it's still not good because, as I explained in my railgun video, which will be at the top right of the screen, um, the railgun one-shots the laser, so even if uh, a really good railgun user is against you and hits you when you're strafing them, uh, it's still one-shotting you, so it's basically useless. This jet is so fucking useless against railguns now because 
any good aimer now is just gonna fucking snipe you out of the air and there's nothing you can do because they didn't fucking bother to even upgrade the armor for this jet for fuck's sake. Like, I could understand nerfing the cannon for fuck's sake, but like, at least give us some armor. Like, this thing's armor is non-existent. And that's why, like, no one's gonna be using this thing unless if they have the old cannon, which I'll get into later. But as you can see, yeah, it's this is not a very good cannon at all. And here's the second test. It won't really prove to be that much better. And now comes the test where I'm going to be using Thermal with the new cannon against a sniper, the RPG, and the railgun all being used by Green simultaneously. Surprisingly in this test, the cannon actually fared very well, but that's not really surprising to me, it may be surprising to the rest of you after you saw all this footage, but it's not surprising to me in the slightest. And the reason is because, well, Thermal is basically the target finder of fucking jets. It, it's kind of hard to argue aim or skill of aim when you can literally see your target through fucking buildings and shit. And th this is the thing that really annoys me. They nerfed the cannon of this jet, but they didn't bother to actually nerf the real problem with the laser, which was the Thermal. Don't fucking come at me with that stupid bullshit of, oh, it was the cannon. It was the cannon that was the problem with the laser. No, the problem with the laser was this thermal glitch right here. And this clip proves it, because I'm literally fucking spawn trapping my friend with the new cannon with thermal, for fuck's sake. It, it's, it's literally killing him so fucking much, he can't even fucking aim at me with his sniper or his railgun. His RPG is his only hope at this point. And I think I at least got like fucking 16 kills in two runs at one point. Fucking like killing him over and over again because he literally couldn't aim at me because Thermal basically enables the fucking 90 degree dive bomb. So it, it's fucking, that, that whole argument is bullshit. It's not the fucking cannon guys, it's the fucking Thermal. The thermal is the reason why this cannon is OP. It's because of the fact that the fucking player that's shooting at you with those guns can't fucking aim at you if you're that damn high, but you can aim at them with their, your stupid fucking target finder. It's broken. And look, I'm even using the missiles for fuck's sake. I'm using the missiles on the laser. That's how easily I can strafe him. And there's literally nothing he can do. How the fuck do people keep continuously complaining about the cannon of the laser, the old one, rather than actually complaining about the real problem with the laser, the fucking thermal? Y'all will opt for the fucking cannon to be nerfed, but I never see anyone talking about the thermal, which is complete bullshit. In this next test, I'm going to be doing an air-to-ground run against Green on his motorcycle and then in his Night Shark in the next clip to see how well these cannons can actually shoot at vehicles because we all know that the V-11's cannon, despite its slow fire rate, is good at killing vehicles. So, is the laser's new cannon good at killing vehicles? Well, let's find out. As you can easily see, with the new cannon against a motorcycle or an unarmored vehicle, like a normal supercar, can easily kill any type of vehicle like that. It pretty much instantaneously kill them in the first strafe. And in this second test, let's see how long it takes for my a friend's night shark to blow from the cannon.
So yeah, as you can basically see, the cannon completely failed. I told Green to go all the way to his import-export garage, somewhere really far away when he started the test, and see if I could actually blow him up before he reached his destination. The cannon completely failed, and now I'm seeing how many strafes it would have required me to kill his night shark after the fact that he's already got there. And as you can see, it took three to four strafes. It, it was like ridiculous how fucking bad the cannon was against armor and shit. So um, anything with armor, like insurgents, half tracks, those types of vehicles, don't use the cannon against it. But if it's unarmored, then use it because it's garbage. Now for some dogfighting clips to see if the cannon is actually affected in the dogfighting scenarios with other types of competitive planes. The first one is against the Hydra. Unsurprisingly, the Hydra sucks absolute hairy balls, so the laser completely destroyed it still because the laser cannon and the Hydra cannon, because yes, this nerf affected both of those jets. Uh, they still kill lasers and hydras, or other lasers and hydras, pretty fast. And it kills a lot of those upgradable planes, like pyros, pretty quickly, too. So, in dogfighting, the cannon really hasn't changed that much in terms of damage when you're behind the jet. However, one thing that has changed, because of the slow fire rate, you can't combat merge somebody anymore, so you can't just spray this cannon everywhere and just uh, pray that you're actually going to hit them and then blow them up instantly. So you can't do that with pyros and shit anymore, which is a good thing in my opinion. So yeah, the laser cannon against other lasers and hydras isn't really affected all that much with its new cannon. But here against the Raiju, it does take a little bit more shots than the laser and hydra. But if you get a good strafe on them, you can still outturn them. None of the performance in terms of turning with the elevators or rudders were actually changed. The only thing this nerf affected was the actual cannon itself. So in dogfights, the laser's still pretty good. So it's not completely useless. But again, why would you ever use the laser when it has no armor compared to the Raiju? where it takes like two rail guns and three explosive rounds, where this thing takes almost like barely any of that, so. And as you can see with the Raiju's VTOL, it was able to easily get behind me and basically disable my aircraft entirely, so. Not really much to say there. The one thing that you will notice in this dogfight test here is that I've actually noticed quite a bit of times that Green was accidentally activating VTOL and he was instantly able to get behind me. For that reason, if you're running into a VTOL Raiju user, you're probably not going to be able to kill them. And because of that fact, it was extremely hard for me to even line up a cannon shot. But if you do hit him with the cannon, like quite a few times, like even like two to three times, I would say, is enough to blow him up. But as you can see, here's another VTOL, and he instantly got behind me. And again, why the fuck would I use the laser when the Raiju can just instantly activate VTOL with its insane armor already and just get behind me instantly? It kind of defeats the purpose of using the laser in the first place. The laser really only had its cannon going for it, and now without its cannon, it's really a shell of what it used to be. And in this test, it's the laser versus the B-11. Generally speaking, the only reason I was able to defeat Green in this first one is because of the fact that Green doesn't know how to actually use speed control effectively in the B-11. He doesn't really fly his B-11 that much, to be honest. And I was able to easily get behind him with speed control. And the cannon still kills it pretty fast, especially for it being a B-11. I was surprised how fast the cannon actually killed it. So, yeah, the gun is still good for dogfights, again, but in terms of against these other aircrafts now, with cannons, or even without explosive cannons now, 
it's really hard for me to justify you to even bother to use this thing because the only thing this jet had going for it was the cannon and because it's like 6.5 million dollars I just can't tell you that paying 6.5 million dollars for a jet that used to be good with a cannon is justifiable anymore because it just doesn't have it anymore and generally it's just outclassed by a lot of these other planes like this one if I was in that B-11 I would have already killed Green in this laser if he was in my laser right now but because I was getting too far ahead of him I decided to slow down and see if he could get behind me he still couldn't even when I was using speed control after the fact so yeah there's nothing really much to say here it's just down to player skill at the end of the day And here in this test, just to prove that it was down to player scale and not the actual performance of these two aircraft, I decided to fly in his B-11 while he flies in a laser, and I was able to quickly deal with him quite efficiently here. Here in this next test, we're going to be fighting the buzzard inside the laser. And I generally wanted to see how the cannon with its slower fire right now, how it would fare against a buzzard now using machine guns and missiles at the same time. Generally speaking, if you're shooting at a buzzard that's shooting missiles at you head on and they're locking on to you, it's going to be pretty hard to already hit the buzzard because you have to avoid the missiles and their gunfire and you have to hit them all at the same time and because of this you obviously don't want to put your laser in danger with his machine guns especially because this thing has non-existent armor as I've mentioned before so putting your laser in danger is extremely risky as you can see his minigun is basically just shredding this thing's armor because it's non-existent and he caught me in the second test, we do an engagement again. I have to watch out for his missiles when I'm going straight at him, and I have to watch out for his miniguns while I'm strafing around him. But I did get him this time, so generally it's not a guaranteed death against helicopters, but I would watch out now. Buzzards are an extreme threat against lasers now because of the fact that the cannon can't just insta-beam them and then that's that. You actually have to aim this thing, so there's no more just spray it around in the air like a willy-nilly and just expect to get a kill. You actually have to aim this thing, just like with ground targets, to be able to get kills. So, in terms of the nerf against aerial vehicles, this nerf actually is a good thing. It's no longer bullshit where you just spray it like a shotgun in Call of Duty and just get shitloads of kills, you actually have to aim with it, which is nice.
in this next test just for the lulls and because I was also kind of curious because the buzzard machine guns fared pretty well against it is the annihilator versus the laser uh, realistically speaking uh, unless if you're fighting a complete nuns pilot that doesn't even know how to fucking fly this thing through the most basic fucking maneuvers you're gonna kill them but if they're even semi-competent they're just gonna go underneath you where the most surface area is and just hit you with the cannon so uh, yeah there's no fucking chance the annihilator has and here against the savage the Savage definitely got a massive upgrade with this nerf to this jet now because now it's no longer going to instantly die from its death beam and now you really want to worry about this fucking Savage being close to you now and even dive bombing it or going underneath of it is a risk now especially because of that dumbass cannon now it can instantly delete you if it even grazes you with that thing and because it can spam the missiles, you can't just go at it head on because that's all they're going to do is just spam shitloads of missiles. And as you can see, I attempted to do that and I got punished for it by getting hit by a missile. And then I think he actually hits me with the cannon here. So yeah, watch out for savages. And here with the final dogfight test against the hunter with the laser, this test basically, um, the Hunter is an extreme threat to lasers with this nerf cannon now because of the fact that this one has more armor than even the Savage and they'd have to hit you like quite a few times directly to blow you up and this thing has countermeasures, this thing has homing missiles that are spammable like the Savage but the biggest threat is its machine gun for the co-pilot and barrage missile system. Uh, because of that, you can't really even rely going even close to it at all because this thing can aim 90 degrees up with its barrage missiles, it can aim 90 degrees down, it's really fucking fast, it has countermeasures to counteract your missiles, and it has fuck loads of armor, so if there's a helicopter to avoid fighting with a laser, it's definitely the fucking hunter because I can tell you right now, um, ever since this nerf, I've never had an easier time taking out jets ever since this update came out because I can tell you right now it's just that easy. Now to answer the real question on why this nerf is completely useless as you saw in the title and the thumbnail and the real reason why you're probably here. Yes you heard, heard that right in the comments section, the title, and the thumbnail. This nerf is completely fucking useless. Not all, also is it completely out of character for the laser, but there's a way to get around it by simply just getting the old cannon back in free mode because this cannon nerf only equates to actual free mode. It does not equate to jobs, does not equate to anything outside of free mode, so any kind of job you can actually get this back. However, there is a glitch that can get it back in free mode permanently making all of these changes completely fucking useless. I'm going to show that off right now and how to do it exactly. All of the settings that I'm about to show in the pause menu in the options in the online section you need to set before you can be able to do this glitch. You're going to need to open your pause menu, go to online and options, and go to filter quick join content and select it to user created only and then go to matchmaking and options and set it to closed. Depending the console that you are on you are going to have to friend someone that is in a separate aim preference lobby from you so me for free aim and you're gonna need to friend someone. For Xbox you can just friend this account they have multiple different bot accounts don't worry about them ever joining your sessions or everything. It's just a bot account so then you can do this glitch. And then you're going to want to do the following. After you've done all those settings and then added this person, then you're going to want to go to your phone, you're going to want to go to quick join, and then you're going to want to go to jobs, and then select parachuting. If you have any friends in your session, click alone. Do not click friends within session. And then you're going to wait seven seconds with the timer at the bottom right of your screen until a black screen pops up asking you if you want to host or search for another job. You're going to press B to host and then you're going into, at this point, 
join in progress with that same account that I just showed on screen or another one if you're on another platform and then you're gonna wait for that thing that tells you you're able to join the session and then it's gonna give you another black screen telling you that you're gonna be going into a different targeting you're gonna want to press A on the first one and then B on the second one after that as you can see I have the old cannon again so yes this glitch completely negates the entire nerf in entirety and this is to show you what the power is of the old cannon compared to the new one to basically just confirm that there's no fucking reason you should even be bothering to use the fucking new cannon at all considering that there's a way to get the old one back so good job Rockstar you basically made a nerf that's completely useless and one that no one wants to use good job two birds with one stone huh yeah, great job. And here with the old cannon against the MOC cab, yes it did take a little bit longer than the newer cannon, but that's because the force value of the new cannon is non-existent so it doesn't throw the truck around, and that's technically the reason why it took longer for the old cannon to blow it up because it was just tossing it around. And as you can see, Unsurprisingly, with the RPG and the sniper test, because we just decided to combinate them both, uh, the old cannon is basically just destroying Grink entirely. There's no reason for you to even bother using this new cannon when Rockstar couldn't even be bothered to playtest their game, and now there's a way to get the old cannon back. No one's going to be using this ever. So and against the railgun as you'll see in a few minutes here it doesn't fare much better either as you saw in the railgun video uh, the railgun with an old cannon basically just got destroyed so there's literally no reason that you should be using the new cannon compared to the old one the old one is just way superior and way fucking better and it actually fits the identity of the plane in this test, he's going to be using the railgun, and this is without thermal. I just want you to keep that in mind, because at least, you know, the cannon was overpowered, but at least, you know, you can actually use this fucking thing without thermal. Now you have to use thermal to use it, and this also proves that it was not the fucking cannon. It was not the cannon at all, because a non-thermal laser with this old cannon is still killable with the railgun. It was only unkillable at that point if it was using thermal. So this kind of proves it right here that the cannon was not the problem. The problem with the cannon, or the jet rather, was the actual thermal itself allowing you to target find someone at 90 degree angles in a dive bomb without any risk to you or your plane because they can't fucking shoot at you or aim at you. So, it's kind of hard to say that the fucking nerf is completely useless because it is. It, it quite literally is. The unfortunate part for people that fucking hate lasers and fortunate for people like me, um, this glitch is very unpopular. And by unpopular, I mean nobody's fucking using it. And this is from my perspective using the railgun. It still can actually kill. So, yeah, it's, it's still killable with the fucking railgun. It's not completely bullshit like with the thermal one, so I don't understand why people keep fucking saying it's the fucking cannon. It's still fucking killable, as this clip clearly proves. It's only unkillable when the thermal is equipped to it, because then it has no threat to it. So, yeah, and here's the thermal test. And the thermal test is just completely what proves what was the problem with the laser in the first place. The thermal. How many times do people have to fucking keep telling you that it's not the cannon, it's the fucking thermal? And this is even provable with the fucking Pyro, and the Starling, and the B-11. Any plane, for that matter, can be broken, like the laser, just by simply having thermal. There's nothing you can do against these jets if they have thermal. 
So that whole argument of the laser being broken is stupid. Because the railgun one-shots this jet, and the other jets take multiple shots, but they only shoot fucking missiles. So it's not the fucking cannon. It's clearly the thermal here, because I can just keep spawn trapping him. I can even shoot him before he's even spawned if I'm close enough to the ground. That's how ridiculous this shit is. So, at the end of the day, you basically have a nerf on a plane that got no upgrades besides this fucking crappy nerf. Um, that basically is useless. No one's gonna fucking want to use it. And, more importantly, this glitch is not going to get fucking patched because no one's fucking using it. And, I say that because I've been in sessions since this update has come out. I've only seen two. TWO fucking people using this fucking glitch. So, the chances of y'all motherfuckers getting this fucking glitch patch is almost non-existent. Expect this fucking glitch to be around for as long as the god mode speedo which, yes, I realize, just got patched not even a few weeks ago. But still, this glitch is going to be around for a while, so the, the laser is still going to be a problem for all you people that hate the laser for some reason still. Even though that I've clearly proven that the fucking problem with the laser is the actual fucking thermal, not the cannon itself. Because I'm basically unkillable to green here, and I just keep killing him over and over, there's nothing he can do. And, yeah, so... The thermal was the problem with the laser. Plain and simple. Nothing else. And here in this test, we're doing that same test with the Night Shark, but with the old cannon this time. And we're gonna see just how fast this fucking cannon obliterates Green's Night Shark. I'll give you a hint. It barely got fucking, like, far away from its fucking start point at the other side of the tunnel on the other side of the fucking military base. It literally blew up on this fucking curl earner right fucking here. It barely even made a fucking kilometer from its start point. This cannon is infinitely better in every single way. Now after everything, I want to have a quick discussion on why I fucking hate this nerf so much, and why it does not really do anything for the jet at all. First off, why the fuck does it have such a slow fire rate to the point that it's completely useless? The identity of this aircraft is to have a fast shooting cannon. So, I have a proposed solution, and I don't know why Rockstar didn't just go with this, or people just fucking go to the fucking support page and fucking mention this instead. What was so wrong with just having the B-11's cannon's damage of requiring three shots to hit a player, but keeping the old fire rate? And reducing the blast radius down to the B-11's as well. What was so wrong with that? Why are we adding B11 fire rate along with fucking B11 blast radius and shit and non-existent damage and not to mention you can't even see fucking targets because this jet goes so fucking fast. The B11 gets away with it because it's slow. This plane is not slow. Because of that, the render distance does not have enough time on console for a player to render in unless if you're in one of those sessions where they can render really far out. But, at that point, that's fucking basically RNG, and relying on RNG is bullshit, that is not a good solution. So, no, I don't agree with this cannon nerf at all, especially because I need to talk about the other problem with this plane. I was fine with the laser nerf, as long as they made a reasonable fire rate to it and didn't completely gut it. But the biggest thing that I wanted them to add was armor to this thing if they were going to really gut the gun. 
But did they do that? No, they fucking didn't. They didn't add any armor to this fucking thing at all. It literally fucking takes one railgun to fucking shoot down. Meaning that a fucking literal goddamn Molotov is better to use for air to ground than a fucking laser. That is how bad they have reduced this thing to. This thing went from the fucking best jet for a beginner pilot to the fucking biggest pile of dog shit fucking paper airplane in the entire game. How can you fucking justify this? Both as community, as players, and as a developer. You completely strip this vehicle's identity. And before people fucking say, Oh, this is a good thing because now we're not gonna fucking get fucking grief with fucking the goddamn cannon in fucking cargo, or we're not gonna get combat merge and dogfights. I agree with all of that, but what I don't agree with is the fact that you strip this thing's identity. Because of the fact that everyone knows that this jet has a high fire rate cannon, this is the first jet that they usually pick up because you can even get it for free at the military base. Tell me, who the fuck's gonna want to go to the military base after finding out about this change with the cannon? Nobody, nobody with an actual sensible brain is going to actually fucking attempt to go to the fucking military base and waste their time on this fucking jet with this cannon. Nobody is going to. And the other thing, they couldn't even be bothered to fucking playtest their game. They couldn't be bothered. They literally just rushed this nerf out. They said, oh, free mode only. Didn't bother to test if it could be fucking reverted back into free mode. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We have a nerf that is completely buttfuck useless because Rockstar couldn't be bothered. Not only because of the fact that it's fucking a shitty nerf that is completely uncharacteristic for the fucking jet, but it's so useless as well that no one's going to want to learn it because this is a 10-year-old game and fucking there's a way to get around it. Plain and simple, this is fucking lazy at the end of the day. And on that note, why the fuck are we nerfing this jet after 10 years on a 10 year old game when fucking GTA 6 is probably coming out in the next few fucking years? Why are we nerfing this jet now? I don't care if it's the fucking community, I don't care if it's the fucking the developers at Rockstar. Why, as a collective, are we nerfing a jet after 10 years of it being the exact same on the game's deathbed. Why in the fuck are we nerfing it at this fucking point? That is stupid. Beyond stupid. And this is the other thing. Y you may say, well, ooh, at least they're doing it for the players. No. No, you're mistaken, my, my tiny little friend. You thought that they did this for you? No, 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 okay. So, they did this nerf, not for the players. I know why they did this nerf, but no one will ever admit it because they just love this thing so fucking much. The reason they nerfed this plane was because, like, okay, we're gonna nerf the laser, but we're going to add a plane that is ten times worse than this fucking thing. Now, think about it for a minute. What plane could I possibly be talking about? Hmm. What plane could I possibly be talking about? That literally is $300,000 more expensive than the laser with its most expensive price. Hmm. Everyone, everyone think about this for a minute. Hmm. 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 Yeah, this fucking thing. This fucking thing right fucking here is the fucking problem. They added the fucking nerf, not because they give a shit about what you people think. It's because they wanted to fucking add a new fucking laser equivalent to get people to buy shark cards. Because it's in the fucking price range of the old Megalodon shark card. It's fucking blatantly obvious. They basically want to replace the old vehicles like they've been doing for past updates for fucking months now, they want to replace the old shit with new shit. That's basically what this is. They don't give a flying fuck about this because if they give a flying fuck about what we feel and wanted to keep this jet as 
close to its characteristics as possible, they would have fucking added the nerf that I said and mentioned late earlier. They would have fucking had a B11 fucking damage. They would have had the B11 fucking blast radius, but had the same fire rate. But they don't give a shit about that. They instead want to completely gut this thing down to the point that people will buy the new jet instead. They don't want people buying the laser. They want people buying the Raichu. Why? So then it can increase shark card sales. That is the whole reason behind this nerf. They don't give a flying fuck what you think. And just so we're clear, so I don't have a bunch of fucking people coming at me over this nerf, um, I was completely fine with the fucking cannons getting nerfed as long as they were within reason, and they fucking had the same blast radius and damage as the B11, and had the same fire rate, and it actually got a decent amount of armor, because right fucking now it's fucking basically a paper airplane at this fucking point. But did they do any of that? No, they didn't. They completely ruined this jet for the sake of just adding a new jet to replace it. And oh boy, I have a video coming out soon explaining my fucking frustration with that fucking thing. And a whole bunch more. Uh, so that video will be coming out soon. Stay tuned for that one because oh boy, I have, uh, I have another rant coming about that fucking plane. But yeah, that's it for the video. Uh, this is just to explain my frustration with this nerf and why it's completely uncharacteristic of this plane to have a slow fire rating gun and all this other shit and the fact that it's also completely fucking useless. There's no fucking point for this nerf to even be in the game because there's a glitch to get around it and so much more. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like, hit the bell, subscribe, and all that other stuff. I don't know how you would enjoy this video, considering that it's a pretty depressing video, and honestly, a bunch of other depressing shit. But if you did, that would be all appreciated. Also, make sure to check the top left of the screen, or top right, I mean, so then you don't miss out on the railgun video, so then I can explain why that thing is utter shite and why you should not purchase it as well. Anyways, I'm Tron Ninja, I'm pissed, and I'm signing out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.